Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and we're going to work today a little bit on our calendar journal, and I'm going to tell you about some freebies. This is my cover. Now we have this in the green, we have the blue, hmm, what other color? Green, blue, and tan, I believe. We still have some of those left. I put a pocket in the front of mine. This is just my little saver that I keep all my goodies in. And then you can see some of the pages that I've done. Now, I still have to add a lot of pictures. This is kind of turned into my kids and grandkids journal. And I've still got to add lots and lots of pictures in here. I've got to get them printed. That was February. And then that's Melina and Brandon. That was their anniversary. That's the page that Betty did for us for February. Isn't that pretty? And then we're going to start on our March. Now, I wanted to tell you, this is a freebie, and it is, I'll have it linked below. This is from Betty, uh, Betty's Custom Design. She is one of our designers. Let me make sure I get all of her pages. Seems like I'm missing one. Okay, I think that's it. The, the um, calendar, and it has some little washi strips around it too. I don't have those right here in front of me. And then you get a, two background pages and then a page that has some little pockets and different things that you can use in here. Now this is Betty's, like I said. Kara Brandon also has some freebies that she does once a month if you sign up for her newsletter. This is her freebies this month. Look at this. <laughs> Aren't they pretty? They match perfectly with what Betty has. So I'm going to be using some of Kara's and Betty's in this journal. And this is a calendar journal. And I will link the playlist below where you can go over and check the playlist out if you want. Now on my calendar Sometimes I get it printed the right size, sometimes I don't, but if I don't, I don't worry about it. I just use a backer sheet of some kind. You could even use scrapbook page, whatever you might have. And then I just use my punch, and I punch my holes in here. Well, sometimes I punch my holes in here if I can get them in the middle. There we go. And these journals come with lots of pages too. These are like um, a heavy cardstock paper. And then I put my calendar down on this. I glue it down on that. And then that gives me, you know, my full page. But you can probably play around with it until you get it printed the right size. You know me, I just print it and if it's the right size I use it. If not, then I go somewhere else. And I think on this, I'm going to use iced spruce. That's the oxide ink that I'm going to use. And it is, it is a green, but it has some gray in it like this page does. It's not what's on my blender tool. It's a little bit different color. And you'll see it when I start going around this paper. Now we have a lot of people that are doing these and I try to do a video at least once or twice a month but you know this is something that you can do on your own I mean I just do my thing and I show you what I'm doing and if you want to do it like me that's fine and if you don't use it like you want to use it but a calendar journal can be used many different ways you can use it for your appointments you can use it for like I'm using it I use it for my kids and my grandkids birthdays and anniversaries and their trips out of town when they go and sing and that kind of thing so just use it like you want to use it we Betty does provide the freebies every month sometimes they're two pages this month she did four pages for us and you can see that that's got that little bit of green and gray in it and it just matches the paper perfect now i'm going to go ahead i think and glue this down before i put that back in there and i'm going to use my little glue mat and my glue stick mm. Thank you. 
And if you don't know who Betty is, it's Betty's Custom Designs, and she is our designer and one of our admins. So she does a lot of work for us. And she has her own Etsy store and works a full-time job. How does she do it? I don't know. She says she never sleeps, and I believe it. <laughs> because when I'm up in the middle of the night, she's up to... <laughs> That's usually when we talk, late at night. Okay. So there is our page for our month. And I'm going to put that this way. And then I can go ahead and put photos or whatever on the back of this. Now this page, I'm going to go ahead and cover with this paper. And then I'm going to put some little pockets and things on it to hold, you know, just different pieces of ephemera that I might come across during the month from the kids or grandkids. So I'm just going to put this piece down on, I think. I think I will, because this one I don't think would be big enough. No, I'd have the white edge. So I'm just going to glue that down on there. And I'm going to put my glue on this. Maybe it'll work. I know it's thick and it's going to tear my glue if I get to the very edge, but that's okay. Not going to waste a lot. Not going to waste a lot of it. There we go. And then I'll just lay that down and then trim it off. It doesn't have to be exactly perfect. Go. Now all we need to do is punch our holes in it again. See if I can get them to go in there. Usually I punch them and I pull this over and they go everywhere but in there. Today it's cooperating with me a little bit. And we'll go ahead and put a little ink around this. See, that just blends so well with that paper. That's the perfect color. And we can put that back in there. And I will cover the back when I get ready to do some different things on the back of this. But I think right now I am going to cut this pocket out from Kara. I'm going to use it. There is the pocket. Now you just need to fold on those lines that she gives you. This is going to be a small pocket, but I like it. It'll hold little tags and tickets and things that maybe the kids have got from here and there. Let's see which one's the bottom and which one's the top. I think that one's going to be the top. And then just fold this over. Mm 
Isn't that cute? <laughs> I like that. Okay. Put a little glue down here. Now I can put that little envelope down here at the bottom and leave it where it opens and tuck some little things in there. I think I'll put it over here to this side. And I'm going to glue it on just three sides because who knows, I may want to tuck something behind it. Well, I may not glue if I can't run my glue on there. So I will leave the link to Kara's. I think I can leave the link to her newsletter. Um, I will check and see if I can. And if I can, I'll leave the link to where you can sign up for her newsletter. And then you get the freebies each month. And when you sign up, you guys make sure that you tell her that I sent you over there. <laughs> She'll wonder why she's getting so many sign-ups all of a sudden. Okay. That could tuck behind there, and I would probably put back that with something because it's not very thick. It's just on regular copy paper, so I'll back that with something. And then for the inside, we could just put little bits and pieces. And we could do another pocket if we wanted and put on there, but I'll probably just wait and put another pocket down when I put the photo on there. But I wanted to mainly show you this today, that these two collections go beautifully together. So if you want this freebie, you can go over and sign up for her newsletter. This is Kara Brandon Creations. And then this freebie, it will be linked below. It's on our blog. All right, I think that's all that we're going to do on this. I just wanted to get this down first because, like I said, I still have to print my pictures, and they'll go here and here. All right, we'll talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. If you want one of these journals or any of these freebies, the links will be below the video. Go over and grab one. We don't have many of these journals left. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.